so wherever it crosses the x-axis, you can use that as the... Right, so in this case, you guys picked negative 1. You could also have picked 1 because <coughs> it looked good. You could have picked 3 because it looked good. And you still would have ended up with the same set of zeros in the end. So then when I'm asked to list my zeros, I will have negative 1, 3, and 1. If those are the answers, why don't you just look at the graph and like take the because points straight off? Because you have to do this algebraically. You oh, have to be okay. able to do this process algebraically. This was an easy one where we could actually see them all. What's going to happen on the next one is there will be two that you won't be able to tell where they are for sure. And we need exact answers for our problems. And what will finally happen in the end is you will get a problem where you'll only be able to see one on the graph because the other two will be complex. Okay. And that'll be why you would need your quadratic formula. Is there one that'll always be obvious, or will it be? Yes, I will always one? make there be an obvious one, <coughs> unless yeah, <coughs> say that. unless the function is factorable. In which case, there might not be one that's obvious because you can factor it and then do stuff from there. I'll warn you about those. And when you start getting the homework and you're going, uh, I'm looking at this one and nothing's obvious. I'll give you a heads up on that. No, there's, one, there's at least one in this homework that's that way. All right, now for one to, for you to do. Ready? Here it is. Find all the real zeros in this polynomial. Whenever you graph something on your calculator, you have to draw me the picture on the calculator. What? You have to draw me the picture on the calculator. You can give me directions on the front of your test. I can't draw a, a straight line. I don't care. It doesn't have to be. A, I can't draw a straight line. Did I draw anything actually straight there? Probably not. I'm just joshing. It just has to be close.